uh, three in the 50s, one in the 60s, three in the 70s, one in the 90s. Do you think this is going to make the difference in this case? Well, thanks for having me tonight. Um, I do think it makes a difference. We've got eight jurors from what I what I can calculate there who are over the age of 50. And we have a, a defendant who is 52. So what we hope to see in any trial is a jury of your peers. And here we've got a jury that's similar age or older who have uh, maybe the ability, a better ability to evaluate things through the lens of an older person. You know, I was reading some of the comments on the on the poll and somebody wrote on my Twitter that uh, I'm 70 and I would have been terrified in this circumstance. Um, it, it sounds to me if that that 70 year old were on the jury, uh, that would have been a self-defense vote for, for sure. But then, you know, today, as Wisconsin law allows, uh, the state allowed this jury some easier options, maybe not the top first degree intentional homicide. They instead gave them second degree intentional homicide and reckless homicide. I said it already. Those are still serious. How serious are they? Well, they're all serious. They're all forms of homicide. So, of course, the penalties are extremely serious. Uh, but, you know, I think it's also helpful for the for the defense to have lesser included because now, all of a sudden, the jury is hearing that there's other charges that they're being asked to consider, charges that they weren't asked uh, or told about at the start of the trial. And they may be thinking the state's case isn't as strong as, as the state thought it was. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.